The I don't know if he just randomly yeah. came to somebody's house and was like, this boy is a dragon. Let us stay. Do not question <laughs> it. He is a dragon. He is a dragon. Alrighty, we are back, y'all. Yuma's and awake. Are we awake? I'm awake. <laughs> it's late, <laughs> but I'm awake. Are you awake? That's the eh, question. <laughs> decently, kind of. It's a new game, so it's kind of keeping me going. <laughs> right. Welcome back to Shining Residence, where we learned that this little guy right here with the lavender hair is all kinds of shiny mm -hmm. on the inside and the outside. The royal capital yeah. Of your radiance. Oh, is he royalty? I see. I'm guessing just for being a shining dragon, she's yeah. going with that title. Where's his ears? Behind the hair. Thank Hidden you, away. Matt. I mean, <laughs> where else would it be? <laughs> All right, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and okay. dragons. Okay, interesting. will and wind. <laughs> when dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to That's us. very Talk different from what we know what a diva is. <laughs> <laughs> Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty. We divas still play the songs. Playing the songs. Songs of our hearts. Magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore. He is like, he, he is looking at her like, girl, what is you saying? He's, yeah, I he's really just like, don't have time for this. Yeah, like, I, I just got out of a prison. I really don't care about all this. <laughs> I really do not care about your little history lesson. Mm -hmm. I am a shining dragon. I have a sword in my forehead. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Yeah. I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and and now you're really here. Oh, she is happy. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord. Uh, she got, she got excited, y'all. She did. Ooh, she got all kinds of excited. Please, if I may serve you in any oh. capacity. Uh oh. Oh. So. We're we're just gonna skip over that real quick. Um. <laughs> Kirika, you know I'm not actually the shining dragon, right? My name is. I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in spirit, you are, you the, are shining the shiniest of dragon. You sparkle. You're her shining dragon. Right. Okay, I'm the shining dragon. We'll go with that. <laughs> Hi, Yuma. I, like, I don't want to deal with this. I'll just say yeah. Honestly, I'm just glad to have someone looking after me. Bless his little heart. Or trace like titles. I have no clue. Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Oh, oh, he's awake. Mom, <laughs> mom. Oh, who's your mammy? And that was Primula. Her mother Emma runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn. Seagull Inn. Well, that's very generic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mom, look. Oh my. Good to see your eyes open, dear. I'm gonna lie, the mom looks like one of the most generic no. JRPG NPCs ever. I see. Oh my lord, bless her. <laughs> I bet you Emma can make a, make a me roast. Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. <laughs> Speaking of which... Breakfast is ready. Is this a so breakfast? This is this the end, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, and the princess. The I don't know if he just randomly yeah. came to somebody's house and was like, this boy is a dragon. Let us stay. Do not question <laughs> it. He is a dragon. He is a dragon. You have to believe us. Dude, I want to try that at a hotel. Like, next time we go to a con or something. <laughs> just Jamie. We, just we have a dragon with us. <laughs> just roll Jamie out. Yes. Like, this this is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> However, he goes by Jesus. 
We would probably get in trouble. We would probably get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Who ain't spoken? Who got to speak to? Sonya Blade. Yeah, Sonya Blade. Hey, good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? I don't know how she's just so nonchalant about it. What's wrong? You seem confused. Yes, he's probably confused. I uh, she said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So does that mean a prin? Oh, for the love of. Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, wow. Dear. Hold on. Y you're... No way. You're a princess? Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here. Why don't you... Yeah, what's the <laughs> matter, Yuma? You don't think a princess can save you? Right. Let the princess... She's the princess and she's doing all the saving? Right. Gosh, Yuma. Do something. It's the year... Whatever. I hate you, Matt. <laughs> it just was definitely 2018. <laughs> Not my friends again. Come on oh. now. <laughs> to 20, cover up, right? 20XX. There we go. That's, yeah, accurate. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, your highness. It's a profound honor to me. Oh. Hey, uh -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonya. Just Amelia. Nah. -uh. Nope. <laughs> you got it. But uh, what's the crown princess kicking around a regular old inn for? <laughs> I imagine he's more so he's more confused by her being in the inn than her saving him, fighting people, helping him fight a dragon. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, but yeah, the inn. Being regular and old. We're the top inn in the city, thank you. <laughs> and we've even got Dragonier staying here. Well, excuse <laughs> us, Yuma. Right. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragonair's caretaker. What? Why does she live here? You're a princess. Dragonair's. That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragonair too? Nope, I'm just a princess. Uh, no. Not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something mm -hmm. like that, anyway. Hmm. Keeping secrets already. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? <laughs> Do you want to get married? <laughs> Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? Yeah, what else you got to do? Right. <laughs> it's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> Your stepdad's not roasting you in front of them anymore. <laughs> right. Your stepdad went back to <laughs> go sleep. And <laughs> back at the castle. Yes. Okay. Wherever you want to go, point the way. Whatever these traits are, I'm getting them. Uh, you are. You've gotten two. We have yet to see what they do. Now we're going to the royal audience chamber. Oh my god. All the cutscenes. Jesus. And this is the beginning of the game. Oh, his Welcome goatee to beard to thing. <laughs> All right, <laughs> King Albert. Thank you for making the journey to my humble hall. Yes, sir. Oh, come, sir Yuma. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you si Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. Ah. Uh. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short version, yes. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against oh. your will. Well, that's you nice. Yeah. You're no longer going to get changed up. Change, changed up. Chained up. That being said. So can I ask you, are we awake? We're awake. Okay. <laughs> we are here. If I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. Oh. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. 
We're locked in a bad stalemate. Oh. To be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now. But we cannot place our faith in the walls for mm -hmm. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands. And the poor souls left behind. Oh, God. They are my subjects. And I their king. This is I am so to protect them. meta right now. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about it. The Empire do some just protect what like he just said pertains to so much is happening right now. Mm. IRL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang it, video games. I come to you to escape the real right? world. Right? When I was at Galritz, I saw cruelty, all kinds of inhumane experiments. Yeah, someone was getting touched it appropriately. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's good. Yuma, we've got to save the people. <laughs> Come on, Yuma. Help the people. You know how we were talking about how he has a stepdad is telling him, roasting in front of his friends? Mm -hmm. King Howard looks like stepdad, prime stepdad material. I just want to I just want to throw that out there in case y'all who didn't see what I see. Mm -hmm. I know I he's a it. king, but he, he looks like a mm. king stepdad. <laughs> king stepdad. To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like. Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh, w well. Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? Jesus, Sonia. Jeez, you got bossy all of a sudden. <laughs> if you've come this far just to clam up, ugh, I don't understand. Sonia, you. calm down. You're the one who kind of just came in, freed him, and dragged him with you pretty right. much. Hey, Sonia, the boy just woke up. Right. Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly Thanks, Stepdad King. When you right. On so thick. Put on this pressure on thick. What? Jeez, no, Sonia. Yeah, exactly. Feel guilty. Feel bad. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Jeez. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one... <sighs> In the end, the fault lies with me. You did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Right, y'all forget this man just woke now? He literally yeah. just woke up. It's the equivalent of you just waking up and you rolled out of bed and instantly, like, your driveway was on fire. And somebody's <laughs> like, give me answers. And you're like, I don't know, I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up, could barely see anything because there's smoke. I don't like, know. Like, just, the whole driveway is just in flames. <laughs> you just wake up. <laughs> not the whole world, not the whole street, not your house. Just just the driveway. Just the, the driveway, and, the, and that's the only thing. Like, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> God, that would make me feel so uncomfortable. If I just came outside. Yep. Alright, can we go exploring? Alright, let's go explore, Matt. Nope, she gotta talk some more. I'm kind of pretty hub and everything. Yeah, I like it. There is a lot of... I know this is a JRPG, but Jesus, this is a lot of talking. Yeah, you are right. Like... There is a lot. I mean, a lot of talking. The seaside capital. Marga is a flourishing coastal city in Astoria's capital. It's home to many people, and the King's Castle rests at its center. You can make use of the facilities here and interact with the citizens. Is that a bard? Interesting. <sighs> and a game full of musical instruments. Oh my Story goodness. icons! Okay, like the citizens of Marga, sometimes have a story icon displayed on them. To move the main event forward, look for the uh uh icon. Did you, what, Matt, what, what the world was that? <laughs> Two exclamation points. Uh uh. And that's <laughs> what that, oh god. <laughs> Alright, guys, in case y'all didn't know, if it's, if you see two exclamation points. Bird! Ah, oh, I couldn't interact you tried, with it. You tried your best to kick it. <laughs> that is not a cook, uh, choco. Oh, he has a, oh, that's cool. What? So, if I hold down the X button. 
<laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. I like that little sliding stop. His run animation is weird. My lord. Okay, so let's see if I can find a... Uh, uh, force... Force menu. Oh my god. You can set up force abilities, square to switch. Okay, blah. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, shoot a fan of arrows ahead. That's what I used earlier. Okay, cool. Yes, you got a healing ability. Need healing. Items. I got a potion. You have a potion? Oh. And apparently I have outfits for the females, of course. Oh, and for the guy. Okay. Let's see. Let's do. Why are you putting everybody in swimsuits, man? No, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put on the special outfits because I have no idea what they are. Uh. Can we not preview it? No, apparently not. Kirka special. Sonia does not have a special, so we will go with Idol. And you will get. Why does Sonya have like five swimsuits? Jeez, <laughs> Louise. Uh, Yuma, you get to be an idol too. Hey, I got a trade! <laughs> a superstar. Have no fear. Oh. You are that dude. Oh, I like that outfit. You look so clean. That's the okay. soul. Oh, oh, me. Yeah. That was a very nice outfit. Right. All right, Matt. Where are we going? Uh, I'm trying to follow those red arrows, but I think I went the wrong way. But we're going to run this way. Running around at the speed of... Dog! It's a puppy! Right. Yes! What? His name is Rush. It is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, yeah. Just get Mega Man flashbacks when you saw the puppy's name yes. was Rush. Oh. <laughs> what is she? Is she wearing anything? Hold on. Let me clean my car. Okay, she's. Okay, wearing... we're gonna go on walking. Oh my. So apparently goodness. that's her special outfit. You know, actually, I think she had a. I'm gonna go and put her in the uh, idol outfit as well because she... the idol outfits look awesome. Yeah, you look all kinds of clean. Let's go look at her real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I legit really like the idol outfits. Yeah. We're sticking with those. All kinds of clean. Well, get ready for more talking. Oh, man. I mean, we gotta best the story, right? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. RPG lovers, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll be okay with it. Rapple. Rapple the Alchemist. Rapple the Apple. <laughs> the Apple Mist. <laughs> a Rapple -o -a crap. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> I'm freaking done. It's two o'clock in the morning. Holy, is it really? Almost. Crap. I know. I know. Well, man, we got a good little head start. Yep. Yeah. You can use materials at Repl's Workshop to synthesize items and aspect pieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. With item synthesis, he will create potions and materials that will be used on your journeys. With aspect synthesis, he will create aspect pieces that will come in handy in battle. Ooh. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Vital. <laughs> it's really pretty. It gives you an aspect and... Well, let's just say it can make you powerful in all kinds of... Okay. Is this like materials? Uh, oh. This is most definitely materia. Uh-huh. Got a little crush on Primula. Hey, Primula. The uh, little girl from the Seagull Inn. Uh -huh. Who shouted for her mom. I thought Rapper was a girl. Oh. Eh. I don't know. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. She recognizes that crush. Aww. Dumb feelings. Bless shop so icons. Hard. Characters who own shops or facilities have shop icons on them. Talk to them and make use of their services. Who is this witch girl that's been in all these tutorials? That's a good question. Aspects. Mm -hmm. So I got three. So oh, God, she has four slots. Okay. And she has four slots. Jeez. Vital. Increase maximum HP by 10%. Dang. So put on. If you're gonna be using him, yeah, you should probably keep him alive. Yep, you're right. Heroic rhythm, saber baton, diva kagura. Huh. I have no idea what those are. We'll those find are out eventually. Name of the weapons you have, right? Maybe I I don't know. Welcome. Item synthesis: potion, ether, and spirit seedling. Revive one ally. Spirit Seedling, okay. That's a new one, right? That's new. Okay, Aspect Synthesis, Vital, gives you 10% HP, uh -huh. Mana, gives you MP, Warrior Strength, Attack, Knight Defense, Defense, Mage Principle, ma Magic, Priest Aura is Magic Defense, Instant Focus is Agility, Luck Up is Luck Up. Down, Cancel, press a button while being knocked back to land on your feet. Ooh. Break Strike increases the critical rate of break attacks by 15%. Uh, break Impact increases stumbling time when a break attack hits. Decreases the MP cost of a healing force by 40%. Jeez! Right? You gotta that do is... all kinds of good healing. Oh! Right! Increases the damage dealt to these beast are nice, monsters. We Major need these. Oh! We need Flying these. Flying monsters heal resonance. Increases the chance of resonance and increases healing effectiveness during resonance. Uh huh. Increases chance of resonance and increases attack effectiveness during resonance. Mm -hmm. Defense or support effectiveness during resonance. Jeez. My lordy. Whew. Do, okay, that's do, some good do, stuff do, that I'll do, need eventually. Alright. Uh, time to go, time to go. Oh. Do, do, going up mm. north. Whoosh. Oh, well. There, found a well, witch. first, let's save. Yeah, let's save. Because we've gone through a lot of cutscene we... talking. It was so much talking. Oops. No, I hit the wrong button. Uh huh. There we go. Yes. <laughs> okay, witch lady. We actually get to know who you are now. All right, witch lady. Tell us what's good. What is good in your hood? Which got that? Um, what is that called? I know Nick knows what it's called because he actually likes that in games and in characters. When they have diff two different color eyes. Yeah. Don't give me the lie. Let's look at. Is that how you Liz Lizlot? Liz Lot? Liz Liz Lot? Liz Lot? Liz Liet? Liz Liet? Eh. I. Mm. <laughs> what? I don't. I'm kind of upset. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. If you want something, I'll sell it. Oh. Simple enough. Uh. Oh. Travels the world as a merchant, buying and selling items. You will need gold to buy items. Gold can be obtained by defeating monsters and selling items. Make sure to prepare for your journey when traveling. She's a around. real traveler. Yeah. I'm not going to stereotype her and call her a witch. <laughs> but I do think that if she, if I was to see how she travels around the world it is probably involved something like a broomstick probably <laughs> sure oh uh, so she won't give me a free thing right apple did though oh <laughs> a little i've never seen such a bustling city all right i've only seen a bustling cell <laughs> full of bugs and roaches and my dreams. And, oh. All on the floor. Oh, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Thus far, we've been able to hold off the Empire. So residents of the city have been able to live here in peace. Well, that's good. Though you realize that means that probably some point in this game, they're going to uh, get invaded. And yeah. the whole city's going to be on fire. Mm-hmm. And we must be cast out of our city. Okay, let's see what items you got real quick. Uh, potion, ether, spirit, seedling, 
and Marga style. Oh, okay, it wields you to Marga. That's cool. I got three potions. Uh, How much money you got? Only 647. You know what? I'll buy one you of these. You even buy a, a, a spirit seedling. I could not. You are correct. Mm -hmm. All right, man. You're going to do some grinding off screen. Use right. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and save again just so we don't have to go through that again. Because apparently the next thing is an actual event. All right, all right. So, let's see. Yeah, let's do the event. Do okay. Because by that time, it'll be time for the new episode. Yeah. Oh, welcome back. There's someone here oh. to see you. Uncle Burroughs. Uncle Burroughs. This is the boy I was talking about. Oh. Ah. All, all right. <laughs> You're our dragon boy, then. So That's a big if, man. <laughs> if manliness had a um, <laughs> preset, uh, I think this would be it. Uh, yeah, I think he uh, hits all the requirements. His beard looks like an explosion of <laughs> manliness. What is happening? Right. <laughs> it's, uh, nice to Ooh, you ain't wrong. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned this is Burroughs. Captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Captain, if you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out there. I want to call it. Okay, I'm calling this. That dude's going to betray you. You think so? His name is Burroughs. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that has something to do with Ouroboros. A monster? Hmm. More than your knights can handle if you're And if anime has people. taught me anything, anything dealing with the Ouroboros is bad, okay? Well, the knights okay. of Astoria. I'll see your bet on that. And I'm going to bet that he's going to go the route of big dude who helps teach you how to fight properly because he knows how to, but then he sacrifices himself to save you or one of your companions. Alright, bet. Cool. Got you. Alright. We'll all find out together. We'll find out and see. <laughs> We've passed. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Wow. In me. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just done. Hey Sonia, there are other dragoneers besides Kirika. Right? <sighs> Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of up, and when the throne doesn't have official contracts to offer. They go around assisting the people of Marga. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted dragoneer. You can always rely on them. So, there's only four dragons in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Why am I going to be a dragoneer? Passing on the history. Okay. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. All to keep the so, people is harmonics like mana? I think it's like Okay, you know how like in Tales games usually like your team is like everybody else but like stronger than everybody else because they have like some kind of like you have like the force or the like limit break abilities and stuff like that. Mhm. Mm I think it's kind of like that whole thing like uh. how your characters have that ability just to kind of surpass what okay, normal people okay, can. Okay. I think that's kind of the thing about it. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? Mm hmm Long ago, the shining dragon inside you gifted them to the ancients so they could protect themselves. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all. There you go, they use the word harmonic. They're harmonic they armaments. <clears throat> that's why they call them harmonics. It's an abbreviation. There's supposedly seven harmonic armaments, no, three of which are here in Australia, the elves. Hmm. Okay. And Excuse the last me. one the is, is Excella's weapon. Well, and so what do you want to bet this game ends with a seven party team? What are you doing fighting for Astoria instead? <laughs> Just throwing my guesses out, JRPG status. <sighs> well, Astoria and Wellentine relations are peaceful. 
The elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. Hmm. Passed down the line for generations. Uh -huh. Oh, and look, you can be happy because she's wearing this outfit. She's actually covered up fully. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I helped. At any rate, I should go and see about this Thumbs up. Big. Get off my face, man. Yeah. No, let me tag along so I can kill something. Fight things. I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first now, can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father's place. Man, you know? We're almost two hours in this game. Be that as mm -hmm. it may, Malik. You've only fought three. Can maybe take Yuma with you all the same, <laughs> just to be safe. Boy. <laughs> <Me? laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be. Uh. Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. <laughs> Ah, my lady, wait. <laughs> and she's gone. Uh -huh. uh, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <clears throat> now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma. <laughs> wow. Are you letting the princess totter <laughs> off into danger all on her own? What? Bros! <laughs> what the hell? Little coward! Huh? B but she said she was just scouting, so. No excuses. Get after her right now, boy. Hop to. Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? I do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Arguing will only make him grumpier. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll go. I'm going. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonya reaches. Yeah, I, my my bet's going looking a little bit cleaner. Uh huh. No, I want to go fight things. Great. Okay, free heals. That's always nice. All right. Common question of the day, y'all. Ooh. Human, the party will stay at the Seagull Inn. The party's HP and MP can be restored by talking to Emma and resting. Make sure to rest often. All right, y'all. Common question of the day. Do you know somebody that's stubborn? Do you know somebody that calls you out your name in front of people for no reason? Do you know somebody with a manly beard that looks like an explosion of manliness? If so, tell us in the comments below. Oh, my One lord. More. You can open the quest memo by pressing R2. The quest memo has notes about quests you've accepted and their current status. All right, cool, great. <laughs> I just want to get back to the same point. In the meantime, in between time, y'all stay sexy. And until next time, <laughs> see ya. Hit it.